Tomo Kapo is established by Thomas Johnson Seebeck in 1821 as he discovers that when a conductor junction will, uh, will give out a voltage when it's subjected to different temperature gradient. When one uh, junction of the end of the temperature is connected to a hot uh, body and another junction is connected to a cold body, it will give out a uh, slight and small voltage. In the thermocouple circuit, the current flows as long as the two junctions are in different temperatures and the magnitude and the direction of the current depend on the temperature gradient or difference on the two junctions. The common method that is used to measure the temperature at the reference junction with a direction leading temperature sensor then apply this cold junction temperature measurement to the voltage reading to determine the temperature measured by thermocouple. The method is called cold junction composition or in CJC. The voltage from the thermocouple are highly nonlinear and the Seebeck coefficient can vary by factor of 3 or more over the operating temperature range of some thermocouples. Therefore, we must use a lookup table or using an approximation to the thermocouple with voltage versus temperature curve using polynomials method. As since the slope of the thermocouple responds in a curve that changes over a temperature, there are three different types of thermocouple that are commonly being used in application. They are J-type, K-type, and T-type. There are three different approach on the calibration of the thermocouple. For the first approach, as commonly being used in J and K-type, are uh, by using the response curve that are relatively with the incremental slope of the sensitivity. As for the J and K-types, usually remains fairly constant. For the other approach, that is record by recording a matching set of voltages to its respective temperature and then using the linear interpolation between two points to get the temperature value. Lastly, is to use higher order of equation that model the behavior of the thermocouple. And that is all. To determine the actual thermocouple te temperature, this reference thermo temperature measurement must be converted into M equivalent thermo electric voltage using the equation provided by the National Institute of Standard and Technology NIST. Basically, sensors have their sensitivity. There are several difficulties measuring with the thermocouple that I'm going to discuss with all of you. It is not easy to transform the voltage generated by the thermocouple into the accurate temperature reading for many reasons. The voltage signal is small and the temperature voltage relationship uh, is nonlinear. Let's consider this issue one by one. The first issue is about the voltage signal is small. The most common uh, common thermo, uh, thermocouple types are J, K and, uh, and T types. At the room temperature, for example, their voltage varies at 52 uh, micro voltage per degree Celsius, 41 micro voltage per degree Celsius respectively. Other less common types have their and even smaller voltage changes with temperature. This small signal requires a high gain stage before analog to use uh, to digital conversion. When the voltage signal is small, the signal conditioning typically requires uh, requires a gain of about 100 or so fairly straightforward signal conditioning. What can be more difficult is distinguishing the actual signal from the noise picked up on the thermocouple slits. Thermocouple slits are long and often run through electrical noise environments. The noise picked up on the leads can easily overwhelm the tiny thermocouple signal. The second issue is about the voltage signal is nonlinear. The slope of the thermocouple's response uh, curve changes over temperature, for example, at 0 degrees Celsius. A T-type thermocouple's output changes at 90 
micro volts per degree Celsius. But at 100 degree Celsius, the slope increases to 47 micro voltage per degree Celsius. There are three common ways to compensate for the non-linear of the thermocouple. Those are portion of the curve of the curve that is relative flat and approximate the slope as linear in the in the region and approach that works especially well for the measurement of a limited temperature range. The third part is the practical thermocouple solution. The thermocouple signal conditioning is more complex that uh, the other compared to the other temperature measurement system. The time required for the design and debugging of the signal conditioning can increase a product time to market. Errors in the signal conditioning, especially in the reference junction, compensation section can lead to lower accuracy. The following two solutions address this concern. The first, the first uh, solution is by the optimized for the simplified. The small thermocouple signals is amplified by gain and output scale factor. Next, the noise reduction where the high frequency common mode and differential noise are removed. Furthermore, the process can be done by non-linearly correction so that it is uh, so that the data will be calibrated to minimize error in the thermocouple reading. The next measurement solution is, is uh, by optimizing for accuracy and flexibility. We can do that by removing the noise and amplify the voltage. That's all for me. Thank you. For the lab we use it is thermal lab with conductivity. The thermal couple types used is K type. Type K is the general purpose of the thermal couple. It's low cost and owing to its popularity. It's available in wide variety of props. The thermal couple are available in the negative 200 degrees Celsius to plus 1200 degrees Celsius range. Sensitivity is about 41. In the thermal conductivity experiment, stereo steel cylinder or brass cylinder is inserted into the linear module and clap it tightly. Then the K type thermocouple are attached on the linear module according to the tagging number. Then, main power supply of 240 volt is set to 20 watt. After set as 20 watt as the input power, wait for 20 minutes. Thermocouple detects the temperature and finally we can record the data. Thermocouple is a sensor for measuring temperature. This sensor is converted from temperature gradient into electricity. Thermocouple sensor is already in use in many industries nowadays. One of the common industries is a food industry. Food industry thermocouple are primarily used in various commercial restaurant applications. Most common use of the thermocouple in food industry are cooking equipment. The thermocouple can be found in a large food cooking system used for mass production to small scale, low volume restaurant great applicants. Typical cooking type equipment to use temperature sensing props include ovens, fryers, toaster and grills. Traditionally, temperature sensor for the food industry thermocouple need to provide consistent temperature readings to ensure precise cooking, frying or heating to protect food from being overcooked as well as undercooked. Besides that, this sensor also apply in manufacturing industry. Thermocouple can generally be used in testing of prototype electrical and mechanical apparatus for example switch gear under test for its concurrent carrying capacity may have thermocouple installed and monitored monitor during a heat run test to confirm that the temperature rise at rate current does not exceed design limit. 
Furthermore, in thermocouple, they are categorized in many types. Type B, S, R, K thermocouple are used extensively in steel and iron industry to monitor temperature and chemistry throughout the steel making process. Disposable, irreversible type S thermocouple are regularly used in the electrical uh, furnace process to accurately measure the temperature of steel before tapping. The cooling curve of small steel sample can be analyzed and used to estimate the carbon content of the molten steel. Last but not least, the sensors are used in process plants industry, chemical production and petroleum refining refineries will usually employ computers for logging and for limit test testing the, the temperature associate associate with a process typically numbering in the hundreds for such case a number of thermocouple leads with we release we leads will be brought to a Okay. Last but not least, the sensor also used in process plants industry. Chemical production and petroleum ref refineries will be usually employ computers for logging and for limit testing man the many temperature associated with a process typically numbering in hundreds for such case. A number of thermocouple leads will be brought to a common reference block, which is a large block of copper containing the thermocouple of each circuit. The temperature of the block is in turn measured by a term thermistor. Simple computations are used to determine the temperature at each measured location.